everyone, hi guys, I'm back with a new video and this video is about familiars also known or referred to as animal guides or animal spirits or spirit guides and there are two things that are possible that there is something coming from the other rooms or another level presents itself to you and offers his her help um, in doing psychic stuff and gaining gnosis and uh, help you do magic and summon demons and um, it can be a woman, a man, a child, an animal um, can be something demonic or angelic and it's there to assist you with the things you want to develop and explore now a lot of witches i think agree that it's um one possibility but the most common and accepted form is a real pet most of the time it's a rat or a raven or some kind of bird or a cat or a dog in my case i had a familiar cat a long time ago and a dog that always protected me and chica um i think it is because of chica that i met vepar and barbatos and was able to build a stronger relationship with archangel gabriel um i think chica is was and will be the only dog that went through the whole tree of world um, and i wouldn't have done it without her i stood up every morning at 5 a.m doing the meditations and the ritual and she was there um, to just encourage me be with me and help me so um I'm still a little bit emotional and I got a lot of beautiful emails and messages and comments and some of them said I hope she will show herself to you at some point and um, you will have her visit you and the thing is she never left um, I think most witches or a lot of witches know this when a familiar dies it's very hard to break the bond it's just it's not just me it's also the familiar in this case chica now when we were done crying at the vet me and my husband we went to the car and i opened the door and i immediately felt that she jumped in and placed herself on the back seat and was we're going home and at first it was comforting and after a few days i started to worry because you know she would love to run after a rabbit or dig a hole somewhere and find a beer can or a wine bottle or these pizza delivery boxes or something funny or just dig in the ground and find some mice that were exploding out of their nest and running all over the place and um i thought she's free she can run she can go wherever she wants to go and there she was in the back of our on the back seat of our car and then she was either on the couch or in the kitchen or next to me in my bed and i thought well maybe she has to I don't know i really didn't know what to think and i discussed it with my husband and he said well maybe she needs time we need time to uh, grieve and maybe she is not ready also uh, or either not ready either to let go and discover the world and run around where she wants to and not be on a leash and um, because she would run in front of a car or 
a truck or a train or just freak out people on bikes and um, now I really appreciate these messages where people were offering me words of comfort like she's going to be back or she will visit you or things like that but um, she's not leaving um, now the thing is with my cat <laughs> that was 35 years ago and she's still very interested in music I was playing the guitar at the time and the piano and she would always drop herself on my music sheets and just push the guitar and I don't know she's still she's connected to my guitar which is spirited and is in the attic in my altar space so and there was a big black scary dog that always made sure that nobody bothered me and it was a an angry motherfucker very scary big big black scary white fang um so he's still around and now i'm thinking maybe my husband is right she can needs a little bit more time to say goodbye and just run off with all the other pedencos and um catch rabbits and kill mice and find pizza delivery boxes and um but it's five days now and she's still here now i was at a vet and we decided to not take her home and uh, bury her in the garden like a lot of people do in my on my side of the country but since we were on his side of the country um, I decided, we decided to leave her there and what we did take was, because she did, they did some blood tests, these uh, glass tubes, because they had taken some blood and I was like, I am okay with leaving her body here, but I do want a little bit of blood, so he gave me a tube, he was like, um, and I secretly, um, did the hairs they shaved off to do all the blood tests and put a needle in her le uh, arm, leg, arm, whatever, um, in a little plastic bag. And um, so I brought that home. Um, but well, uh, for everybody that's thinking that she left and she's gone, she is gone and she did die, but her spirit is still here. Um, she <laughs> helped me to find uh, beautiful music, Frida Boccara, and I think it's pretty old, but it popped up in my mind. It's like her bed is around the corner, and she often put her nose into my right ear and whispered something, or I was just sniffing and um, giving me cuddles, and um, so. I suddenly remembered music that I hadn't think about for 32 years or something, which was kind of funny. And like I said, uh, thanks to Chica, I did the Tree of Word and I um, did the Tree of Word completely, all the spheres and pathways. Um, Vepar, Barbatos, Gabriel, and some other, but these were her main goals, I think. Um, so what did I do with the blood? Um, I have a little pouch here with my oldest ancient copper pendulum and I am keeping some wood from my favorite apple tree and a little bit of rice and my grandmother's ashes and now a little drop of drop of blood from Chica. It's all in there and I have to polish it a little bit because it's starting to get on these typical green spots that copper shows. So her blood is in there and then I thought, well, okay, that's safe, that's secure. You can go now. Nothing happened. Um, then I remember that I still had this pouch. 
I made it from an old jeans, my favorite jeans, and it's it has a little, well, a bundle of hair. She had all the Mediterranean uh, diseases that you can possibly think of: Leishmania, Barbesia, Ehrlichia, heartworm, and she had a little bit of epilepsy, uh, ep epilepsy, epilepsy, whatever, whatever. Um, so it was a war to get her back on her feet but it was so worth it and i am very very grateful for the donations i got at the time to help me take care of chica and my husband of course so that's in there and then i was like okay <clears throat> i need her to if she is ready or I will make sure that she's ready and she can just jump out of the window or run out the door or um, she's her spirit is still with me and every it's different I don't know how to explain it but if you are not a witch you know that some pets are more special than others and if you are a witch and you hate animals then you probably have no idea what I'm talking about but if you're a witch and you had a pet that was extra extra special and assisting you in doing magic and uh, readings and help you with dowsing and using an oracle card and whatever in my case it was the three of words and vapor um, Barbatos and Gabriel then you probably you I know you know what I mean um, so these hairs I was like okay she is constantly sort of following me around or laying on my bed and I am still smoking so what I did was I'm not sure if you can see this but um, what I do is add a little bit of this is what I use when I smoke I don't use these um, prepared cigarettes I just take some tobacco out of these um, box circle box thing and don't laugh um, so I just do like this and then take a little bit of hair out of this pocket then I take this paper tube like normally and I don't know I've never seen this in the United States but this way you end up with a cigarette filled with tobacco and dog hair and then I uh, um, <laughs> okay and then I open the window or go to the backyard and I start smoking to set her free and every time I'm like there you go and when I and done smoking I want to go inside again or close the window and she's back again so um, this one I made I think three years ago or something there's hair in it and in the you can just fold it like filled uh, it's almost like wool or something and I taught her this fall to find these sweet chestnuts instead of going after rabbits and mice all the time um, she showed me a place where there were cedar trees that are able to either heal or curse people and I drag their spirit out of there uh, if I have an enemy which I don't I think I hope um, not anybody of any importance so that's going in here and I don't know it's weird my her whole bed turned into an altar place um, covered with offerings of dog snacks and well the rigid witches always think you have to keep your altar proper and with a bowl of salt or sand or water and candle and incense and a sword and a wand and an athemy and 
um, at least a proper altar cloth. Well, in my case, it's just a mattress because she was too big for a dog bed, for any dog bed. So she, I gave her her own mattress in the same color as uh, mine with the same color of cover. Uh, with a blanket and another blanket and a pillow and another pillow and a lot of dog snacks. I asked Chica if I was allowed to show it to you, but she said no. No is no. It's her thing and it's I have to respect her privacy. Um, okay, if you were not a witch, I know you are going to think she's just overwhelmed with grief and sadness and uh, she's desperate and lonely and I am, but... You know me, I'm a witch and we witches know that you make adjustments to your altar according to what you are going through, also true. But then there is the thing that some familiars just don't want to go, which is the case. Um, I'm not sure if Chica will go, but... Um, for now i feel she still relies on me and also a crazy crazy thing um <laughs> i'm still walking my dog i'm still taking chica for a walk um so it's what i hope is that it's part pain sadness and me grieving and maybe chica sometimes be with me when i need her and if not she will just go and run around and cross the rainbow but it's a bridge rainbow bridge she can cross it and cross it and uh, visit me whenever she wants to for now she is not leaving and i'm not going to push her anymore so that's why i stopped adding hair to my cigarettes to set her free um, I'm just going to wait and see what happens. If she wants to stay with me like the cat and the dog I just mentioned, then um, that's that. Um, so her, her harness is still here. And um, Anyway, I did a little bit of calculation with my husband and I think I spent 2200 hours in a forest or a field or a swamp or somewhere in the bushes and in the wild. Then we have the morning and evening walks more. It was 2200 hours in a forest or a swamp, adding the hours in a field or on a Dutch dike or uh, strolling around somewhere. Um, that's about 4000 hours in five years. Not having added the hours from the morning walk and the evening walk and not having added the hours that we spent traveling and going on adventures like um, going to an old church or a castle or just shopping and going to a restaurant, eat Burger King stuff or a sausage roll or fish or fried fish or all these things. So it's about 4,000 hours out there where she could just do whatever she wanted to do. What I was hoping, like I said, what I was hoping for is that she would realize I'm free and I can just go wherever I want to and run around and do my thing, not being on a leash all the time and just have fun. She decided to be here. If you have something similar, please put it in the comments. I'm interested in how often this happens to witches. Um, and if you have any other or similar creative ideas to work with a spirit guide and spirit animal and a familiar. So that's it. See you next time. Bye.